everyone, Vika here with Ronnie. <laughs> you can go now. Um, today I'm gonna be talking about the books I'm gonna be reading in January, January, TBR, to be read. I don't know, that's, yeah, anywho. So a few of these books are actually books that I started the past year and I'm just carrying them on to January and I really wanna finish them this month. Um, yeah, so one of those is Reading People by Ann Vogel. It's like 203 pages. Um, I'm about halfway through, like 90 pages, so basically halfway. Um, basically, basically, basically. <laughs> I'm basically basic. Um, anywho, so like the description of the book is how seeing the world through lens, through the lens of personality changes everything. And so it's kind of like a big claim, but yeah, I get it. Like you understand when you understand different like personalities, you're better able to understand the world and people and why people do the things they do, how they take things and how they respond. And so yeah, this book has like been eye-opening but hasn't changed anything kind of thing like it's a decent read it's pretty short and easy but like my life has not been altered by this book at least so far like granted there are like chunks that i come in like yeah that's totally me i understand like yeah but like once you understand personalities like what do you do then like you just understand and so yeah this has been a good decent light read so if you're into that like kind of thing where it's it's non-fiction um it's good, so I just want to finish it. I'm halfway through. It's I have like a hundred pages left, so um, should get through really quick. I like to read that one when I like I have a hard time falling asleep. I'm sad to say, but that's basically it. Cause like nonfiction, it's easier to fall asleep to if that makes sense. Um, next is a book that I have not started yet, but it is on my 19 in 2019 to be read. Um, and I know a lot of people are gonna be excited about this. My mom. <laughs> By mentioning that, you probably know who it is, but what it is. But A Voice in the Wind by Francine Rivers. I admit, I have not read this book. I have not read anything by Francine Rivers except for um, The Prince, I believe it was. And that was like in eighth grade or whatever. And I don't think I finished it. And it was, I don't know, I wasn't ready for it. So I'm just going to read this for my mom. I need to read at least, I did the math, I need like two books every month for my two, like, 2019 of 2019, um, to, like, finish by the end of the year, and I only have one, but that being said, next month, it's gonna be more, <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see, um, next is another book that I'm continuing on from last year, I've taken forever to read this series, and it's War Storm by Victoria Aveyard, and might I say, Victoria, that is a lovely name, it's so beautiful, um, it's a good name, anywho, but War Storm by Victoria Aveyard, it's the final book in this series, and I'm so excited to finish it, um, but basically this whole series is about a girl who, um, I hate when the dust jacket, like, glares that glare anywho this is the book any uh but uh the, the series is about a, a so it's a society in the distant future very dystopian kind of thing so if you're into that i feel like you'll enjoy it um basically there are silvers and reds and how they are distinguished is by the color of their blood so granted the silvers are have silver blood and the reds are have red blood so basic humans um but the thing is, like, years ago, there was some sort of, like, radiation and, like, uh, whatever happened. And now the silvers, like, through time and evolution because of all the radiation and basically our generation and our future is going to do something that causes people to have, like superpowers just basically like how um, in x-men people have like the mutations and they can do manipulate things so there's like people who can like move and and like metal and whatever and shape it to its own form or like control water or fire and stuff like that and so basically this girl she um she's in the low so granted, the silvers do have these powers and the reds don't. So what do you think happens? The reds are basically like slaves to the upper class silvers and are seen as less than and the silvers are basically like see themselves as gods and greater than everyone. And um, yeah, so what happens one day is this girl, uh, her name's Mare, she um, falls, so she gets taken, she gets captured because she was doing a crime sorry this is the first book that i read like four years ago so this is like trying to recall everything um she uh 
she basically commits a crime and then she's taken to the palace where she has to be a servant and then what happens is she falls into this arena where they display their powers i'm saying powers but you know it's <laughs> It's powers, uh, and they display this power, and she falls into the thing. And the thing is, every like the whole arena is covered by like an electric field kind of thing. So uh, people who, up in the stadium, um, they're not affected by anything that happens within the stadium. So like if there's like a water thing or whatever, or whatever fight or display is going on, you don't get touched if you're watching in the stadium. But what happens is she falls into this electric field, and so she's supposed to die. But she doesn't and so spoiler alert kind of um you wouldn't have a story if there was a twist um but she has powers and she's a typical red girl and she yeah that's about it her going undercover kind of thing like the whole the the queen covering it up and saying that she's a silver and so she has to pretend she's this other person when she's not and yeah and just onto the i think this is the fourth book there's three books, I think, and there was a novella. Um, I haven't read the novella, but um, More Storm, and I'm so, so, so excited. There's a lot of, like, class issues that, like, a lot of good issues that are covered in this book, but um, it, it kind of fo follows the typical tropes. Like, there's a, it's like of a YA novel. There's a love triangle. There's, what, um, the world against me kind of thing. Um, a lot of parallels that like you can see in like Hunger Games and Divergent and stuff like that um but the thing is there's amazing representation in these novels like there's more people of color and everything like that and which I liked um people always seem to like whitewash YA or not even if there's a ton of good like novels out there but it's, they're just not near not nearly as popular I feel like as you know the basic oh, oh, oh beautiful and everything like that but she's just a typical girl but you know it's pretty cool it's pretty cool i enjoyed it um enjoying it i'm just taking forever to read this um it's it's a monster really is it's massive um yeah that's that oh um what else the next two I, um, the reason I'm, these are on my January TBR is because uh i got it i put them on hold a long time ago through my live like online library thing and i finally have the audiobooks on my phone so i'm gonna be listening to those so that's why they are on my January tbr that's how i like read my books um if i get them from the library like that i've had on hold i'm gonna read those asap because a lot of the time i can't renew it if it's on my phone or through the kindle um because through libby my library libby um and so i have to read them asap because more, there's usually other people on hold so i can only, I only have two weeks with them so i have to read them right away or listen to them right away if it's an audiobook and so yeah the next two are okay I haven't read this and I know everyone raves about it but Maze Runner by James Dashner so I'm gonna be reading that um I have that on my phone it'll be sending to my kindle um I'll be listening to it um that and what was the other one? Oh, the seven and a half lives of evelyn hardcastle by Stuart turton turton <laughs> it's funny last name but basically this girl she keeps re like reliving a life but in a different body of the same day kind of thing or like following up to an event where she is murdered or someone's murdered i believe and that concept sounds so cool so she's just trying to figure out what she has to do how she's who killed her and everything like that with the time she has she doesn't know if she's gonna be like waking up in another body or whatever and so she's solving her own mystery or like this mystery and i think that's pretty cool mm, so yeah let me know what you think um what should i read first i know i'm gonna read the ones that i have from the library first because i only have two weeks with them so i need to get through them as quickly as possible and i will be able to get through that so yeah um okay i'll see you guys later let me know what you're reading below what i should read next month because i need to add in the books that i will be reading in 2019 clearly but i also have a lot of other books that i'm interested in and maybe there's something you guys recommend and that's yeah that i should read i like to listen about books as much as i love talking about books so i just love books yeah so bookish vika signing off ronnie's like laying down so he's not gonna say bye i don't want to bother him but yeah have a great week and month and i'll see you guys soon